Hello guys, my name is Tu. For this video, I'll be talking about a demonstration for uh, using workers uh, in plant simulation software. So without further ado, let's go to this uh, template file which is called the workers chart SPP. So this is the template we can have. So by having a template, it is uh, allowing the benefit of having a template is to allow the user to use dra simple drag and drop operations to build a simple simulation model. For example, I will just drag a source object. So the source object into the frame represents the uh, product or the WIP inside that is introduced to the simulation. Then I can have a drain object which is representing the exit point of the um, parts within the simulation. For example, the parts entering from this point exit this point. Then I can have an entry point for the workers. So I can just drag the worker pool somewhere here. So the worker will just enter the simulation model from this point here and grab a part and do a series of operations uh, required by the um, station requirement. Then you can just drag another frame. So for example, I have a line here. A line consists of a series of four uh, station. So when I dr just drop it here, you can see that the connections are automatically built for you uh, in, a, in, in an intelligent manner so that uh, this will reduce the human errors. So the humans uh, or the users just need to drag and drop and all the settings is done at the background uh, to help him to establish the model. Let's assume that I'm dragging two lines uh, entering the field now and uh, remember that uh, this uh, frame here is actually a children files it's a children to the parents frame. So the parents frame located here and this is the children. So the children frame will inherit all the properties from the parents. So by having the hierarchy of a, a children and parents relationship, you can build the model uh, very fast and reduce the human error. And also for each of the station here, so for example, if I go uh, into this uh, children frame, so for each of the station here, uh, these are also the children's file for this station. So this, uh, the station that I'm currently pointing is the parent's file for each of the station here. So assuming that if I try to uh, show you the properties of this children, so the children's processing time is one minute currently. And that, that is the reason, uh, the, the reason the children is having a one minute processing time is because the parents is also having a one minute processing time. So let's say if I change this processing time to 50 and all the children will inherit the properties, for example, 50. So this is the benefit of if, let's say, uh, in this model, currently I have eight, eight separate children's uh, objects. And uh, by having this uh, hierarchy uh, features, I, I do not need to modify the property of each eight stations uh, for eight times but I will only need to do it once at the parents level so this actually saved my time so now let's try to run the simulation so let's uh, verify the total workers that is entering the simulation field is just one so one worker will entering the field from this entry point and do its job so it's just moving in uh, three times the real time speed so the worker is currently idle because there is uh, not, uh, no work for him currently because the part is currently processing and the processing time for each of the part is 50 seconds. So he will need to wait for a few, mo uh, few moments later before the next part is available to entering the field. So while, while the simulation is running, we can also try to check the st statistics of this worker. So let's try to uh, import uh, uh, let's try to add a worker chart. So we have a worker chart at this uh, location. Just drag it and put it over here and associate the worker chart with the worker pool. Just drag the worker pool to the worker charts. And I'll try to show the statistics of this individual worker rather than the whole pool of workers in, in general. So let's try to start the simulation again and show the um, chart. So for example, um, orange color represents walking to job and uh, this, this uh, color re represents carrying a part to the station and this color, gray color, represents waiting for importers. So importers here referring to the station. So the station is importing a worker. So the worker is the thing that has been imported to the station. 
Okay, so this is the statistics of this current worker. Now let's try to introduce more statistics, for example, repairing. So I'll just stop the simulation for now and I'll just uh, go to the parents level of the station, which is at this location here, double click and go to the failures tab. Currently, the failure rate of each of the station is 95, uh, I mean, 5%, uh, uh, which, uh, in, in other words, the station is having availability of 95% with a mean time to repair of 5 seconds. So let's say if I try to edit these properties, I can change this availability to like 70% um, and the mean time to repair is about 10 seconds. And the failure is related to processing time. That means the failure is account accountable when the part is uh, in the process is in process so it is not uh, based on simulation time but it is just the failure will only occur when process starts so therefore we will choose the processing time mode and okay so 70% let's try to look how the simulation will look like so the status is currently green so we probably we will need to wait for a while to see a red status so this is a red color status so the worker will need to repair for example it is uh okay sorry uh sorry uh i will need to specify that uh, the repair works needs to be done manually rather than automatic because uh the this the workers need to be there to repair the station so i'll need to just re restart again so uh double click on the station for the importers tab, I will need to activate failure. That means I need to request a worker to repair actively uh, before the repair can be fixed by the station. So therefore, I'll need to go to the failure tab, activate the uh, workers to do the repair. So by doing so, let's try to restart the simulation. So the statistics is currently uh, green. Now it's red color. So, and red and orange color, orange means it's waiting for a resource. Resource here refers to the worker. So, still in red color, now it's changed to green color. Okay, so this is how uh, the repair, uh, the failure is introduced to the simulation model. Let's try to look into the chart. So, we can have a, a different status, uh, statistics, which is uh, repairing. So, the worker approximately spends about 30% uh, of his time doing the repair work and probably like 20% is uh, idling, do, uh, relaxing, doing nothing. Okay, so this is for one worker. So let's try to introduce more, uh, more lines and more workers. So let's say if I try to restart the simulation, this time I'll be dragging in a new uh, line. So notice that the connections are done for me automatically and I'll be introducing two workers. Okay, so then let's try to run the simulation, build the charts for two workers and try to see uh, the results for one week. So let's try to run seven days. Uh, let's try to fast forward the simulation so we can press this uh, fast forward real time. So seven days has been uh, simulated and these are the results. For seven days, so the workers uh, will need to spend about forty-five percent of his time doing the repairing work, and uh, and walking to us uh, to get walking to the job. So therefore, uh, based on this chart, the worker is almost one hundred percent busy of the t all the time. Therefore, probably we can introduce additional one worker and see what are the differences. So let's try to introduce. One more worker, three workers. Okay, now let's try to run uh, for one week again. Okay, it's already done. So let's try to look into the results. Again, uh, it is um, the worker is still uh, very much busy. So let's try to introduce the fourth worker. So let's try to introduce, uh, let's say four workers and try to run again. and look into the chart so now the worker we have slightly uh, uh, 
relaxing moment about two uh, percent of his time. So <laughs> this is how the simulation uh, is currently showing. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.